Hi guys, this is Maria and this week's video for all your requests is the day in life of a stay-at-home mom. behind those pictures is a lot of hard work and every day you don't look like those pictures for sure so welcome to the real day of a stay-at-home mom and um, just want to preface at the very end of this video I know a lot of you want to know how do you make money when you're a stay-at-home mom I'm gonna touch upon this I'm just gonna give you a preference I'm not a pro with this I started my channel less than a year ago so I am pretty new but I'll share some tips and I hope you enjoy this video Hi guys, this is Maria and it's going to be my one of my first segments of the day in life of stay, of stay at home mom. Uh, I'm going to be filming it over a period of several days just because it's hard to film it all in the same time. So uh, right now, this girl just had a lunch. We spent our morning at the zoo and uh, she fell asleep there. So we spent instead of an hour, we spent almost two and a half hours. Um, then she had her lunch just like we usually do it and uh, we washed the dishes together and now I'm about to clean up and pick up because you know those things never stop in the life of a stay-at-home mom. Hey. So almost anything you do you learn to do with a child sitting on your hip just like this. Whether you cook, you clean the dishes, a lot of the times I just pull up the chair and let her do it with me because otherwise she's standing there behind me pulling on my legs. <laughs> So I'm about to make some uh, oatmeal banana cookies, which I posted the recipe on my and blog. And then while you're making your cookies, your child suddenly needs to poop. And you rush with her to the restroom. Be prepared to be interrupted in whatever you're doing multiple times a day. Good morning. It's 6.30 in the morning and we just woke up. So we're gonna go sit on the potty, then do the breakfast. So Scarlett is starting her breakfast with a cookie that I made for her yesterday and some almond milk. And I'm gonna make her some berries. So I typically sit Scarlett with some berries while I make omelet for her. And um, then she has some omelet. Also, like three, four hours later, I usually give her a whole plate of oatmeal. And some omelet. So I just made my husband coffee. And a lot of the times he works from home. So he has his own office. I'll just spin around here and um, he typically works out in the morning so he doesn't have breakfast with us but um, I make him coffee so it's almost 8 in the morning and it's finally time to take a shower brush our teeth and all that kind of stuff we just finished uh, fixing up our rooms Scarlett is still sleeping in the bedroom with us on her floor bed she typically sleeps there up until uh, midnight but there were a few nights she slept there until 3 in the morning so it's about 8 40 and we just finished cleaning up the kitchen got rid of those saggy flowers so we gotta buy some I got to take ones. a shower brush my teeth uh still no makeup that comes usually right before we leave i was planning to leave uh pretty soon but i think scarlett is getting ready for her nap so i'll put her down for a nap and then we'll go run some errands hi guys so it's 10 16 scarlett woke up from her nap typically she's down for one to one nap now but she's been a little sick, so, you know, she doesn't sleep well at night, so she has an extra nap. And uh, almost every day we get out and run some errands. Today I need to stop by dry cleaners, I'm gonna run by Publix, get some fresh flowers. And I also work in a new project, so I need to stop by Joanne Fabrics. I forgot to mention one more thing, a lot of the times I drive with Scarlett by myself in the car. You can see her back there. And the best things to do is either to have snacks, right now she's munching on a cracker and has some milk, or you could see there is a, an iPad there as well. I don't turn the cartoons uh, all the time because I don't want her to have an expectation of having the cartoons on when she gets in the car. And I typically limit to about 20 minutes a day and unless we're at the doctors or something, but I do recommend having snacks. And we also have some music playing, so that helps her as well. So we stopped by the little park at our mall so Scarlett can uh, run around a little and it started raining. Florida summer. Luckily it's almost over. Scarlett! <laughs> Hi there! Nona. So we just got back home from running errands. It's about 12.30 and I'm gonna change Scarlett and give her some oatmeal and I think she's gonna go for a nap pretty soon, between 1.30 and maybe 2. 
after lunch and the snack in my case uh it's our playtime so Scarlett is really into crayons right now so we have uh, been playing with those a lot i'm not going to be filming much up until after her nap just because i want to focus on my baby so Scarlett just woke up from her nap it's 4 30 and um she fell asleep only at 2 30 so she had about a two hour nap typically during her naps is at the time when i do any blog posts or edit my videos I actually started editing this video during her nap right now um it doesn't look like we're gonna be going to the beach because it's kind of cloudy and rainy but we'll figure out something else and i'll keep you posted guys i probably will start her up with some snacks we just finished running errands at seven o'clock and we are in our backyard my husband is fixing uh a steak on the grill and Scarlett and I are just hanging out. So after our dinner, which right now it's about 8.15, it's that time and Scarlett is super excited. Blowing bubbles. Are you learning how to blow bubbles? So after the bath, we snuggle in Scarlett's floor bed. She's drinking some milk and then I read her uh, three books. We read the same three books every single night. It's Kiss Goodnight, Goodnight Moon, and my favorite, On the Night You Were Born. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a, quite a few requests for this one and uh, it took me a while to get to it. Now, how do you make money as a stay-at-home mom? There are a few ways and I will tell you that YouTube is probably not of the best ways to do it. The reason I have my YouTube channel is honestly because I want to share uh, the things that I learned as a mom because I watch a lot of vlogs, especially when I was pregnant with my first baby. All I did was watch vlogs. So that actually inspired me to do it. And the reason I do it is honestly just because I love it. Now, YouTube does offer you an opportunity to make money. You can monetize your videos after you uh, reach a certain amount of subscribers, I believe. And uh, honestly, it's very, very small. It's like 0.2% uh, off a cent. So for you to get to a dollar, it takes uh, a, an incredible number of views. You can Google, there's a few YouTube videos that talk about it. Another big thing is uh, affiliate sales. And if you've seen my videos or any other mom's videos, if you go to the uh, body of the video where the description is, a lot of the times they put links there so now if you click on this link and it takes you to amazon majority of the amazon uh people are probably an affiliate sales and you get a percentage of sales so whenever i find something that i like i click on that link because i believe in karma you know it's all about good doings then another way is also creating your own business and i actually launched mamapreneur monday i have two videos on my channel you can check and one of my friends, she started her skincare line, it's all natural or organic. And my other uh, friend started her clothing line, I'm actually wearing a t-shirt that she made. And uh, she has a matching clothing line, and they both did an interviews for me. Actually, if you're a stay-at-home mom and you have a business, just share it with me. I'm, I would love to film you, I would like to display, because I'm very passionate about it. I have my own idea on uh, starting my own business, so that's something that's going to be coming for me personally. But um, as far as other types of making money, a lot of moms do it works because I see them on Instagram all the time. I'm not sure how that works. You just have to ask them. Uh, but apparently it works for a lot of moms. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.